way in this anime. Like I said before, the freaking random goat insert to this episode where you just see K having a very motivational speech of saying he wants out of the business and all of a sudden you see him run off on a freaking goat. What the hell is that? That was just, that was so random. It even beats the gag comedy random of an anime and I felt like that was one of the major highlights of this episode. I think this the series is getting a lot better as it slowly progresses on. The comedy is actually getting a lot better. And there was some major freaking character development introduction to Kanigami. I mean, I felt like her character was just so interesting. I mean, getting to find out that this uh, the freaking uh, like character was focused clearly just on money. One in money, but at the end of the episode, we find out it's not all about money. She's taking risks to be able to learn how to make it big once she gets out of school, and at the same time, how to, I guess, get connections. And I love the development with her character, as she is definitely one of my favorite characters on the female side, because I feel like she has a lot of intelligence. She does have the standard cliches of a massive freaking opi rack, and I feel like she's out there just to be a really good character. And I like her ideas. I'd be fine with Kanegami actually being the major focus of this series of having like episodic episodes around her different schemes to be able to make money. That would be something very entertaining to watch, but if, sadly enough, it ain't. I feel like this episode covered a lot of different genres and aspects of comedy. We get to see the Fujoshi fandom. There, there's one thing, okay, that is creepy in itself, but at the same time, they actually go into the real aspects of how Fujoshis are being done recently in anime and otaku culture. For one thing, we had an anime recently from Kyo Annie that actually, you know, aired recently called Free, and it pretty much focused at the female audience, and a lot of the actual otaku culture and uh, Japanese culture are trying to point anime towards the female audience, and I know a lot of you female audience out there right now is probably watching this video probably can actually see that. They're trying to make anime more friendly for women, giving you fan service like Kill a Kill is doing. I mean, I know for a fact you all uh, think it's unfair to see always just we getting fan service as guys but you want to see some man service. I mean, it's weird and creepy for a lot of actual old-time anime fans, especially for myself, but I think it's fair, and I actually agree with the change of the otaku culture, being able to mix it up for both sides and both freaking genders, and I feel like it's a lot better to, I guess, otaku culture. I see you went completely off track with this review. Let's get back on track. Okay, Fujoshi later second half about selling freaking mushrooms with the Forest Club. What the hell was that? That was just downright fucking creepy, okay? And then you find out Becky's like, Oh, you're suspended, Hata. The way she does it, she was freaking... Ah, oh, Becky is such an amazing teacher. Especially that wish at the end, the wish. Oh, man. Becky is one of my favorite teachers from this anime season because of the way she acts. Now, really, I will say the first part of this episode about the Moe eggs. Wow. I have been enlightened to actually otaku culture once again. I knew about, you know, advertising, you know, goods, even food goods in Japan through actual anime characters. I've actually seen this done before, as I've seen it in news articles and stuff like that. Even they would do car companies with anime. But actually getting to see it in an anime and they're discussing actually advertising events that happen in Japan or otaku culture is something entertaining to watch because actually this episode really was not actually just random crap. I mean, even though it was random comedy gag episode, it actually focused on real world events, which was very entertaining to watch. And I felt like this episode had a lot of potential, and it was one of my favorite episodes of the series because of the character introductions like Hanegami. I felt like her character has so much more potential in this series that can spice up what the series already has. Now, the animation quality of this episode, once again, was really freaking good. Another thing, I will say that, you know, this series is getting a lot more entertaining as it progresses onward. I mean, when I first started watching it, it was, you know, okay. It wasn't the best comedy. But now, getting further into it, I think it's starting to win me over as a really good series. And I'm actually starting to look forward to each episode every week. Tell me your thoughts on this episode of No, no Ren, and tell me what do you think about this anime so far. Y'all wonderful day or not, wherever you live, please stay safe. Chibi out.